querido presidente, querido presidente del CSIC, secretario de Estado. Dear President, President of the CSIC, Secretary of State, authorities, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to allow me to begin my words quoting a reflection on science from Richard Feynman, a uh, Nobel Award winner for physics. And I'm going to do it because I believe that the beauty and the precision of the words defy unnecessarily even the best of translators. It's Feynman says. Dice Feynman, the same thrill, the same awe and mystery come again and again when we look at any problem deep enough. With more knowledge comes deeper more wonderful mystery, the Udin one on to penetrate deeper still. Never concerned that the answer may prove disappointing, but with pleasure and confidence, we turn over each new stone to find unimagined strangeness leading on to more wonderful questions and mysteries. Certainly a grand adventure. For the fourth year, the BBA Foundation has gathered us to acknowledge people who, with their effort and creativity, has expand, have expanded the frontiers of knowledge. These contributions may only arise from people who are not afraid of hesitating, who don't need to support themselves on a false perception of certainty, who dare to defy the established truths, who mistrust uh, the wisdom of the experts, and who have the original of knowing how to approach old problems from new viewpoints or consider problems that nobody had identified previously. Science is an exercise of continuous exploration whose motivation is an endless curiosity. This exploration requires to leave aside prejudices, superstitions, convictions in order to analyze the reality in an objective and rigorous fashion, accepting what uh, uh, we see as evidence impartially. Discoveries normally give us surprises that uh, surpass all our expectations, so to understand reality is frequently a great intellectual pressure, greater than inventing fiction. This task also has difficulties which make it difficult to understand for those who are not initiated. Perhaps the main one is that we can only understand the phenomena with different degrees of certainty, that we cannot be sure of anything. We need not be afraid of not knowing, of not having absolute truths, because the humbleness of acknowledging our ignorance is the engine that motivates us to continue exploring. Learning is not possible unless you ask a question. To maintain doubt always alive is what makes knowledge progress to enjoy intellectual freedom in order to question the truths of others, and particularly our own, is the basis of advances in science. Frequently, to manage to go beyond the frontiers of knowledge requires something more and more difficult in a world where the very quick advance of science and the magnitude of the amount of information generated leads us to a greater and greater specialization. The people who are capable of moving comfortably between different fields of knowledge have the privilege of having a, a very wide perspective that allows them to identify unexpected patterns to establish relations between the things that are considered in isolation. To build bridges between disciplines is a task that is becoming more and more difficult and therefore more necessary. Scientific knowledge lies at the base of the technology that has revolutionized our way of life and the enormous advances in fields like medicine, agriculture, or the production of energy. The ease with which we carry out our day-to-day lives thanks to applying our, these knowledge for our benefit and enjoyment make us sometimes forget that its origin is in science. This transfer of knowledge requires to go beyond the generation of an idea original idea because it requires to identify how you can apply that knowledge to a practical purpose. And this arises from researchers who pay special attention to social needs, as we have seen some examples this evening, and also from the cooperation between the academic world and the entrepreneurial world, which results in a fruitful exchange of approaches. Throughout history in Spain, we have been capable of creating a 
favorable environment for research and uh, relevance of quality. And although sometimes it is difficult for us to realize it and evaluate it, we continue doing it. From the Institute of Scientific Information in Agriculture, the Environment and Ecology, or Plants and Animals, the, sci the Spanish scientific production is located at the top 10. Our universities continue in the adventure of discovering and inventing the number of patents obtained and its licenses grow from year to year. Our country has experimented an important quantitative jump in scientific production and in technological transfer. Our universities have been the catalyzers of that change and its students naturally the great beneficiaries. But in this, as in almost everything, we have still a great room for improvement, a great path to cover, more patents of greater importance, more publications and greater impact. A university of quality has to go hand in hand with ex excellence in research. And we have some examples of success in these fields, such as the ones I mentioned before. But we also need to acknowledge that we run short of technological and scientific vocations. Less than 10% of our university students choose science, while almost half of the total choose social and legal sciences. But we may not overlook the fact that in a situation of economic crisis, such as the present one, there are risks for the progress of science and technology in our country in the first place. The problems with the budget force us to adjust resources, and this unavoidably includes university and research. And here we have to have clear priorities and uh, look towards the future. It is necessary to preserve the renewal of talent, avoiding that research vocations be frustrated in the younger people. We need for the private sector and the tertiary sector to involve themselves more in science and innovation in the same way as the BBVA Foundation is doing with its acknowledgments. In the second place, we observe that as university students also, uh, secondary school uh, students choose less uh, scientific and technical studies. We have to propitiate a change in the trend in secondary education and baccalaureate. And this is one of the objectives we pretend with our educational reform to reinforce the studies of mathematics mathematics, physics, or chemistry. In these subjects, along with language and English, is where we are going to uh, bet the competitiveness of our country and when we have to invest in order to ensure it. Because it is true that in an environment like the present one, uh, teaching cannot supply the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed throughout your life. Lifelong learning is needed for all, and it is going to be more and more necessary. But a solid learning of the instrumental matters in, edu in the educational process constitute a clear anchor from which that permanent learning may be efficient. Our university is full of professors, departments, and excellent faculties which are attempting to take the definite step towards quality. They should be an important part of change which has to be lived in this country in its return to competitiveness and growth. And I have no doubt that this is their will and their commitment. But for this purpose, we need for the university to be transformed, to improve, to improve its management structures, its government, its governance and profit from its opportunities for internationalization and to believe in its capacities to compete in an open environment and to attract the best talent for teaching and research. Ladies and gentlemen, a couple of years ago, the uh, science historian Sanchez Ron and Antonio Mingote, recently uh, dead, were authors of a marvelous book, The World of Icarus, where we had the rigor of scientific history and the brilliance of the drawings of this uh, author Mingote. And they hinted at an idea that may help us today as an homage to the award winners. They said, we want to honor the memory of all those who in the past, in the present, and in the future, want 
wanted to go further than what their possibilities allowed them. And it may be said of them that they represent unconsciousness, being temporary and not being responsible. But they wanted to become better and to transcend their own limits. Today, we are celebrating happily this uh, irresponsibility. And we are also celebrating the fact that institutions like the BBVA Foundation want to give an award to it and acknowledge it. I want to point out the fact that civil society should support these kind of efforts in a country where we are used to uh, expecting from the public sector the response to all problems. It is particularly gratifying to register the cooperation of civil society not only in uh, financing this artistic and scientific effort that this foundation does, but in acknowledging it and uh, giving it value. To be capable of imagining what we will need in the future requires a great vision. And the award winners of today have been capable of doing so. They have updated. Uh, aspects such as effort, ambition, teamwork, and they have been capable of channeling them towards what is giving us opportunities. They have learned to collaborate and to compare. They have mixed with wisdom, experience, and experimentation. They have overcome problems of all types, and nowadays they are an example for the rest of the scientific and academic community. Science and technology solve the distance between a social need and its solution between an idea idea and its materialization. Every day, researchers make an effort to reduce the distance, but the results are uncertain independently from the work and the capacity of the creator. So the greater the challenge, the greater the advances and improvements for society. And as important as this effort is the collaboration with those that may apply it and commercialize it. The products of greater success frequently are not those of greater quality, but those that have been commercialized better. Spain requires also those entrepreneurs who are capable of identifying value and work in coordination with our researchers in order to make that potential value a current value. We have to overcome definitely the uh, mistrust that have characterized the relations between university and enterprise. The closer the relationship, the fastest will be our economic recovery and the increase of our competitiveness. And I understand that education there plays a very essential role. It must transmit to our children and youth the taste for entrepreneurship, the disposition to face risk, the beauty of innovation and discovery. These values, along with those of effort, merit, the pleasure in work well done are those that will allow them to well introduce themselves into a dynamic economy and a demanding society of knowledge. In a couple of months, a new cohort of three-year-old children will enter the classrooms for the first time. The educational system that will uh, greet them has to prepare them for a future where the work that a great part of them will carry out at the end of their studies possibly doesn't even have a name today. The problems that they will have to face, those boys and girls, has got nothing to do with the ones we face every day. And in spite of that, the education they will be receiving should prepare them to compete with other million children throughout the world who are going to start around those same dates, their classes. We have a challenge, which is to make our education allow them to develop to a maximum their capacity and to continue learning as they grow. This is the challenge of the Ministry of Education, Culture and Sports. But not only for this ministry, it is a challenge for all of us. We need all of society to become involved in the improvement of our education. We have too much at stake to ignore it. And I would like to finish by reminding you of the idea of one of those people who have been capable of dreaming about our future and whose writings on the subject have marked our present. Ray Bradbury, who unfortunately left us recently, in one of his most famous, famous sentences, he pointed out, anything you dream is fiction, and anything you accomplish is science. The whole history of mankind is nothing but science fiction. 
Señoras y señores, ladies and gentlemen, let us continue dreaming and making reality our dreams. Education, science, technology, art will help us along this path. Events such as today's uh, milestones that point out achievement and honor those who made them are the ones that are paving the way for progress. This um, unapproachable Ithaca with regard to the fact that we will never achieve it doesn't discourage us from continue attempting it. Thank you very much.